Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into a movie that has been on my list for a long time. I know I say that a lot, but I really mean it with this one. Specifically with this franchise, I've had Planet of the Apes listed on my movie suggestions for a really long time. It's actually a movie franchise that I've included in a lot of polls over on my Patreon page, and it never seemed to win, and I slowly began to realize by reading the comments that actually... The reason it wasn't winning was because I was putting the original Planet of the Apes movie in these Patreon polls when most people just wanted to see this movie, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. They were interested in this newer version of films and not the older films. Um, I didn't really realize that. So finally, I decided to include Rise of the Planet of the Apes in a poll and it won on the first try. So we're finally checking out this series. I'm very excited to see what it's like because I'm not familiar with the Planet of the Apes world at all. I'm expecting monkeys to take over. That's that's pretty much what I'm expecting out of this movie. It's just monkeys rising and taking over <laughs> and fighting humans. <laughs> I feel like it's just going to be fun. Um, I'm not really expecting this movie to be super heavy or anything, but who knows, honestly. I mean, this one has pretty decent reviews. Andy Serkis is in this film, presumably. I'm gonna assume he's playing the monkey, I'm guessing, because Andy Serkis tends to do very transformative roles, things like Smeagol. Like, he just does a very good job of really transforming himself physically. He's got great acting technique when it comes to his body language and his movement skills. So that's kind of what I'm expecting from him in this movie. I see that he's in the cast as a part named Caesar. I don't know who Caesar is, so I'm guessing the monkey. Because a lot of people in my comments were like, oh, Andy Serkis does a fantastic job. And I haven't seen him in any of the imagery for the movie. So I'm, I'm guessing that he plays the monkey because he's just that good. I mean, he's a chameleon. He can do anything. So I'm very excited to see his work again. And I don't really know what to expect with this film, in all honesty. Like, I would imagine it's going to be action packed and fun and maybe a little bit dramatic. But I don't really know what it's going to be like. So I'm just excited to dive on into this with y'all and see what it has in store, see if it's potentially worth checking out the other films from this series, especially the newer Rise of the Planet of the Apes films that involve Andy Serkis. And without any further ado, I think that's all I really have for this intro. I just want to keep things short and sweet. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. being hunted. No. Sad. Oh, and now he's here. That's sad, man. Let him go back home. This is awful. Oh, is this a tragedy? Is this movie a tragedy? Because I'm sad. Let him go. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> we gave her what we call ALZ 112. A gene therapy that allows the brain to create its own cells in order to repair itself. Oh, wow. We call it the cure to Alzheimer's. Oh, shit. Did he lose like a parent or somebody he loved to Alzheimer's? We're ready to move on to the next phase. We're not ready to move on. The drug is making her violent. Also probably living in a, a little container with no windows and no family, no socialization. I'm sure that's not helping her either. No, girl, that's right. Oh, we're gonna trap her. That's right. Why are we doing this to her? She's getting out. She's break. These guys are kind of idiots. There have been absolutely no side effects associated with one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, while chaos is unfolding down below. We are confident that you will vote to approve human trial. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're not gonna approve any human trials. Holy sh That is about as bad as a pitch could go for a new drug. Find the most cost-effective way to put those apes down. I can't do that. You're the chimp handler. Handle it. 
Oh, that's sad. That's actually really sad. I understand from this business guy's perspective, like why he would just say, no, we're putting him down. Like it's over. I, I kind of get it. Although it's really evil. Is it the, what? Chim whimpering, is there one left? She's small. She must have been pregnant when we brought her in. She wasn't being aggressive, she was just being protective. She thought we were gonna hurt her baby. Oh my God, these guys are such f***ing morons. Let me tell you what, Doc. Jacobs made me put down the other 12. I'm done. Be my guest. Oh, he's not gonna do it. Wow, okay. Well, the people running that project were total, complete, inept morons. There was so many ways they could have put down that chimp without distressing her and trying to get her to pick up a fizzy soda. And now we have a gifted baby chimp, and I can't believe they didn't notice she was pregnant. My God. Just a temporary house guest. Oh, what might be good for him? Night. It's a monkey, babe. Like, ch no. If my partner brought home a f monkey <laughs> and I had a kid at home, I would be like, get that. Oh, oh, his dad. It's his dad. Oh, I see. Oh, his dad has Alzheimer's. I see. Oh. As for Caesar, kneel down. He's quoting Shakespeare. The monkey is going to be called Caesar, huh? Oh, he doesn't even need help. How old is he? Like. A day old? Two days old? He's very talented. Look at the mystical music, too. Because he's special. It's like, <laughs> he's the chosen one. Right away, Caesar. Three years later, yeah, we kept the monkey, huh? By 18 months, Caesar was signing up to 24 words. Wow. Oh my God, look, we built out the house in a way where he has his own little room in the attic with acrobatic stuff around. Oh, oh, that was the nurse, I see. He can't save his dad. It's really sad, man. He's not gonna take that home, is he? So I guess we still have a laboratory where like we're still making the drug even though, why are we still making this drug if we didn't get it approved for human usage? He is pocketing it. That's crazy, man. This is so rash of you, dude. I mean, watch it work, but I just feel like it could. you could kill your dad. We're just escalating so quickly. I get it. He doesn't want his don't want to see his dad decline anymore, but like you could just be like killing him immediately. <laughs> the scientists in this movie are kind of dumb. No way. His dad is downstairs playing the piano. Like Bach. There's no no way. I mean, I know Bach is a composer. Did Bach actually play the piano? I don't really know. Like Beethoven. This is insane. How is it just going well? Is this the climb before the fall? Something gonna happen? I, I like can't imagine that this is just gonna work. I love chimpanzees. I'm also afraid of them. Mm -hmm. And it's appropriate to be afraid of them. Yeah, because they're very strong. He won't be happy here forever, man. Look, he's always looking out the window. I know a place right across the bridge. The Redwoods. It's a paradise. Oh, are we in San Fran? Oh. Are we going to Mere Woods with him? So we just take him to the park every day? Is that what we're going to do? He doesn't need a leash. He'll be fine. Come on. Just be safe. Come on. Caesar. He's not a dog, man. I mean, I get it. You don't want to lose him, but why are we making him wear pants? Guys, why is the monkey wearing pants? Be careful. Be careful. Yeah, I'm sure he understands what that means. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe he does. Oh, wow. Is this going to be a transition of him growing older? Yeah. Is he in a full outfit now? Why are we making him wear clothes? I just don't get it. He doesn't need to be in clothes. In a jacket? And a sweater? Why? Does he want, maybe he wants to wear it. I don't know. This is kind of weird. Is it because he's in a movie and we can't see a monkey? Oh, oh. Is that a chimpanzee? Uh oh. Oh, he doesn't like the collar. Ooh. Caesar. Caesar. Oh boy, yeah, he violent. I mean, he's a chimp chimpanzees can get violent, man. And like, he doesn't like being told what to do anymore. I think he's over the collar. I think he's over being treated like a f***ing pet. Oh. He's making him hold his fork and is his father regressing again? Daddy, you okay? Yeah, fine.
His father's regressing again, huh? The drug isn't like a reparative drug with permanent effects, huh? His system has found a way to fight the 112 virus so that it can't deliver its thing. Oh, like, oh, his system's developing antibodies. Oh, and it's going to be worse. And that's even worse because it's like he got a taste of mental freedom and now he's like regressing again. Is he just, oh no, he's leaving the house. Oh no. No. Why is the car door just open like that? That's kind of weird. Stop! Oh no. And this neighbor doesn't understand that he's like having a mental issue. What the hell are you doing? Get out of my car! Your car? Why was your door open? Oh, and Caesar's gonna get involved and then it's gonna be so much worse. This is your problem! You made the This neighbor is a big asshole, but he's about to die and it's gonna be a problem. You're lucky the chimpanzee's not clawing your face off. He just ate a finger. Oh no. Oh, he's just, oh. Oh, he feels bad now. He was just concerned about her, or him, sorry. He was just concerned about like his grandpa essentially, you know? But now he sees they're all afraid of him. I do feel bad for Caesar, man. He's like all alone and confused. He's just, he just should be living in the jungle, but he shouldn't be as intelligent as he is either. It's just so sad. I'll take him in. Okay? No, he's under court orders. Oh, court orders. Bring him in when you're ready. Take it off. Thank you. What, are we putting him in animal jail? Oh, it's a primate shelter. Oh, this poor thing, man. He's gonna feel betrayed and like left alone. Oh, this is horrible. And the door's locking. You can't even say goodbye. This is kind of heartless, man. Don't be scared. You're gonna stay here now. Dude, Caesar is just, this is a tragedy. This is f***ed up on so many levels. Coming back soon, okay? Is he even allowed to come back or is that a lie? Caesar's not gonna forget this. Let's call ahead before you Oh no, call ahead before you do. I guess he is allowed to come back. Hey, I can get you out. I can get you out, huh? Down here. Putting him in a cage. Yeah, that'll work once and then he'll never fall for that again. <laughs> oh no, he's being mean to him. Stupid monkey. Now he's in a cage. This is horrible. The choice to cast Tom Fenton. Uh, or is it Felton or Fenton? Draco Malfoy as like this evil guy working at the monkey rehab, not even a rehab center, but the monkey shelter is honestly such a funny choice. His health is deteriorating and the disease is progressing rapidly. I need a more aggressive virus strain. No. Dude, you know, maybe you can't fix Alzheimer's this way. It's sad, but like doing things more aggressively is not necessarily the right thing. My father didn't just recover, he improved. You mean increased intelligence? It's not conclusive, but yes. I want you to start testing the revised 112 on chimps ASAP. Okay. I'll give you whatever you need. Now this guy's acting dumb. He didn't even ask for proof. He just took Will at his word and was like, okay, yep, do it. Do whatever you gotta do. People are just acting reckless, man. Grade A primate show. That's horrible. Go on. Don't you know food when you see it? Why do you get like sick pleasure out of... <laughs> Why do you get pleasure out of tormenting this chimp? That's funny, huh? <laughs> it is pretty funny. You look stupid. Oh, this guy's gonna get f***ed up by Caesar one of these days, huh? You'll we'll learn who's boss soon enough. Oh, no, no, no. You will learn, sir. Oh, he's gonna, I literally thought, I didn't say anything, but I thought to myself, like, what if he starts writing on the wall, like how many days he's been here? Because he's just so smart. He needs some mental stimulation. This is like nightmarish confinement for a creature this smart. It's nightmarish for any of these apes. I mean, the whole thing upstairs is just a total facade. We haven't even seen them upstairs in the playpen. Like what was the f point of that? That's why that guy running the place was like, just let me know before you drop by so I can make it look like he's having a great time here. Releasing the 113. Oh, no. Franklin, get your mask on. 
<laughs> Stop breathing, Franklin. Oh my God, Franklin, you idiot. My God, they're all so incompetent, man. They're just so incompetent. Okay. <laughs> Oh no, he got sick. He got sick! He got sick from the stuff. What's gonna go on with him? Uh oh. Excuse me, sir. Blood. Oh, he dying. He dying. You are not gonna take this stuff home and immediately give it to your dad, huh? Oh my god, I swear to god, Will. He's so f reckless. No. No, we're not going home right now. Aww. But I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise. Oh God, this is heartbreaking. Be okay. So melodramatic. We can't tell him like soon. I'm working on it. Oh God, he's gonna start his revenge arc now. Oh no. Oh, that's the window. I just realized that that circle he drew was the window of home and now he's erasing it because he's angry and he doesn't think he's ever going home and he thinks he's being lied to. That big guy's called Maurice. Oh my God, you guys are idiots. No fun. Here, I'll show you something fun. No fun, what do you mean fun? What, <laughs> why do we bring beers in here like this is the hangout spot? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, can we just, can this guy just die already? He's such a tool. Yeah, the girls aren't happy about what you just did. You just showed your psychotic true colors. It's like he's thinking or something. He's gonna get the bottle from him. He just got the bottle. Let go! I bet he got the beer bottle from him. Yeah, he's gonna use that as a weapon. Ooh, Caesar. They're doing a really great job of making Caesar feel like the true protagonist of this movie. Like it's all about him because like, it's so easy to root against this asshole that works at the, oh, he got the knife. He didn't get the beer bottle. He got the knife from the guy's pocket. I was saying it's real easy to root against uh, this asshole that works here, you know? They're just so over the top awful. Like him inviting his date in here and bringing beers in here. Like, yeah, it's so cool. Watch me abuse these monkeys, babe. Isn't this fun? Like, no. Oh, he's going to break the gorilla out. He's not even going to tell the gorilla that he's doing it. He said, yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. I'm just letting you out. Oh, he thought he was being chased and he's just running around. The guys who work here are doing a job. Oh, he said, thank you. He just said, thank you. The guys who work here are doing a job, man, at paying attention. They are not keeping track of security. They didn't even hear that gorilla. Oh, oh, it's a trap, Caesar. It's a trap. Or not Caesar, sorry. Caesar's trapping this guy is what I mean. Yep. Oh my God, the guy in charge of security is doing nothing. Oh yeah, he doesn't need that because he's got his new friend out. Oh, they're all watching now. Uh-oh, he's freaking out now. He's like, okay, fine, okay, fine. I'm not the alpha anymore. And now Caesar's in charge. That's crazy. Just because he's smart, man. Dude, this is so reckless of you, man. I mean, that's what I, that's the only thing I keep saying this entire movie. He says no. He said no. He said no, yeah. He's like, let it be. It's over. Good. I'm glad he's listening to him. Is that him dying or just falling asleep? Holy sh just like that. He had one moment of clarity before he went out like that. That's so sad. Hey, what's going on here? More 113 trials. Why? Well, I didn't authorize this. No, I did. Oh, he did. Oh, great. Oh no, he's involved now. Now all of a sudden, Will wants to be super careful and- No more tests. What are you- Not until we have a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Look, I'll tell you exactly what we did. Look. You're not the scientist, Jacobs. Oh my God. You were telling Will to be cautious and now you're all gung-ho. We're dealing with a drug that is worth more than everything else. We Dollar signs, baby. Uh-huh. There are risks. Don't talk to me about risks. Don't talk to me about risks. What? I could finish your career with one phone call. Ah! I'll save you the trouble. The blackmail. Oh, he quit. 
Oh my God, guys, I gotta say the melodrama of this script. It's so over the top. Like things are just happening so quickly because the movie needs to move fast. So it's just so outrageous. Dr. Robin, it's me, Franklin. I need to talk to you. Can you come to the door? Franklin is not doing well. Doc. <laughs> Doc. Who the hell are you? <coughs> oh, get out of here. I'm sorry. Bro, that neighbor actually deserves to get sick. That neighbor, that nosy fucking neighbor just got mad karma served to him. He fucking deserved that. Oh, they're all chanting for him, huh? A cookie. Huh? Who's giving him a cookie? Huh? What? Okay, one question. So he kept the knife and that's how he broke out of his cage. Now he's giving all the monkeys cookies, but wait, what's he doing with this one? Just luring him with cookies. What's going on? Cause he's giving them the taste of real food. Is that it? How did he get the bag of cookies though? Did what's his name bring them for him? Did Will show up with a bag of cookies? So now it's like he's showing them a taste of like what he's tasted. He's like, boys, there's a whole wild world out there with cookies, okay? Y'all been eating slop. <laughs> Why cookie? Yeah, exactly. Apes alone, weak, but together, strong. He's gonna teach them all to work together. Ape stupid, some of them are, you two aren't. <laughs> He's gotta teach him how to be smarter. Wow, he got out easy peasy. Is he just leaving? Oh, okay. Is he gonna fight this guy finally? Is this guy gonna get a can of whoop ass? <laughs> Is he being stalked? No? No, oh, I guess he's not gonna get him yet. Damn, I was kind of hoping. Just making a break for the city. Where is he gonna go then? Did he go home? He found his way home? He found his way home. Oh, this is kind of creepy, Caesar. Oh no. He's gonna turn all the monkeys into evil geniuses. He's gonna turn them all smart with the drug. Dude, Caesar is insanely smart. You'd think that this would make the chimps sick though. I guess, it, so this drug works on chimps, but it doesn't work on humans. It makes humans ill. Mom, get up! It's interesting. Oh, they're all, it's a brand new morning, everybody. Rise and shine, I know the English alphabet now. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God, dude, Andy, you guys are right. Andy Serkis's performance is so good in this. He just looks so knowing and scary and calm and calculated. Oh, they have green eyes now. He's checking in on each and every one of them. Holy shit. they all have green eyes. <laughs> wow, that's cool, honestly. I like the choice to have the green eyes, like the color change so that you can see who's been affected. Oh, this guy's so oblivious, man. He's not even... Oh, you're next, bro. He's coming for you. Don't underestimate them, man. Get! Oh, he ain't gonna get. He's not even phased. I'm warning you. Oh, bad angle. Almost like Caesar planned it. Dude, at least get better. Get good. Oh, he's gonna break your arm. He's gonna break. Dude, you're an idiot. This guy is so dumb. Oh, he's about to kill you. No! What? He just said no? no! <laughs> the gorilla, the gorilla looks stunned. Uh-huh. It's your turn to get hosed, bro. Oh, you're gonna get electrocuted. You're gonna electrocute yourself. Dumbass. Dumbass. You deserve that. Bye. Not even sad about it. I mean, to be fair, oh, he feels bad about it. You can tell he didn't want to kill him. Oh my God, they're running amok. They're coming for San Francisco. Ah, there's so many monkeys. Oh no, the day at the park is ruined. You guys might want to get your cameras ready. Normally these guys are quite shy. Oh, it's at the zoo, but they're all going crazy because they can sense what's going on, huh? <laughs> We're 
for breaking the monkeys out of the zoo. Wow, no monkey left behind. They're grabbing fence posts and using them as weapons. Wow, the evolution is so fast. Oh, they're being led. These apes are smarter than you think. Yep, they are. Yeah, you're right, but no, don't kill Caesar. Come on. Guys, I don't know how this movie could end though without Caesar dying, I'm really worried. Okay, great job, dude, you got one. Yeah. Holy sh That's horrifying, yeah, that, that dude thought, he was like, well, I did my part, I got a monkey, and, and then he just started getting attacked. Oh, they're approaching, oh, now they're approaching the bridge. The traffic on the bridge. Tell them I am stuck in traffic. You make up something smarter. Oh, you can tell them what it is. Apes, great excuse for why you're late to work. Sorry, boss, I would have been there on time, but you know, a bunch of monkeys attacked my car on the Golden Gate Bridge. They're trying to get to the Redwoods. Oh. Oh, he's trying to get them to the Redwoods, to freedom. That's all they want is freedom, man. They just want to be free. As soon as they hit the gas, we'll take them out. You guys to shoot them? I shoot fish in a barrel. Good. Good. Wow. Wonderful, Jacobs. How did he get here so fast? I'm actually surprised that he got here so fast and he's like, nope, you don't understand. I'm involved. I'm going to insert myself. <laughs> up. Oh, they're going up. Smart. Into the fog, yeah, into the fog. Oh, and the rest are going under. Oh, it's just a mere inconvenience, honestly. Oh no, not the horse, don't hurt the horse. This poor horse is like, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, a gorilla just hugged me. Oh no, we said no. Wow, Caesar really is, you can tell he really cares about making sure no people are killed, you know? That's ins that's really impressive. He's so much more empathetic than all these humans. Oh, you better run, boys, you better run. It's doing nothing. Just a lone horse running through the fog. It's him! What the hell? Oh my God, it was an ambush. It was totally planned. Oh my God, it was an ambush. Oh my God, I didn't realize that when they were sneaking above and below, it was all for an ambush. I thought it was like they were gonna escape and the ones on the bridge were actually gonna fight. Wow, they're so smart. Oh, he's like, I'll take the fire. Oh, wow, he's gonna take down the helicopter, holy Okay, well, some people are dying in this movie. Help me. Oh, no. Help me. Oh, no. Caesar. Caesar, don't take out your feelings on the... Oh, no. Caesar, please don't go full-blown evil, please. I want him to do the right thing. Even though this guy did put out the hit on him. Come on. Ah! 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 Come on. I think he's gonna make him... I think he's... Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Not helping him, wow. Not you. Oh, wow. Stupid monkey. He's not stupid. He knew what he was doing. Man, if you could have had more empathy. I mean, that guy did deserve to go. I just thought that like, I didn't like seeing Caesar make that decision, but then he left it up to the other guy and it was kind of fair. He's a great leader. I will give him that. Damn. They're gonna make it to Mere Woods, man. Please come home. If you come home, I'll protect you. No, man. I don't think he's not, he can't come home with you anymore. He's got all these other monkeys to look after now. Is he gonna speak to him? Caesar is home. Holy <laughs> Damn, he just learned how to fucking speak full sentences. It's crazy. Oh, they're all standing up now. Oh, crazy. I mean, this is cool and all, but like, this is too many monkeys for the Redwood Forest. <laughs>
This movie was definitely very fun. I think Andy Serkis did a great job in his performance as Caesar. Made him feel really empathetic. His physicality and facial expressions just seemed so calm and calculated the more that Caesar matured and grew up and saw more of what humanity was capable of and figured out who he was more. I do think this movie is really just like a testament to his performance as an actor and how empathetic of a character that Caesar can be. In terms of like the rest of the characters and like the dialogue, it's definitely a little cheesy, but it's a lot of fun. I think the way that the pacing of the movie was, things had to move kind of fast. And so the pacing felt a little unnatural because the timeline just had to be so quick. I mean, we were starting off from Caesar as a kid and progressing through his whole adulthood and his whole origin story of discovering who he was and becoming a leader. So a lot of things had to happen. And so a lot of the more tense situations or nuanced situations happening at Genesis had to play out with like super fast dialogue and that felt a little over the top and a little cheesy so it was fun in that sense like I don't really feel like any of the scenes between humans were that captivating honestly it was just kind of like funny the scientists felt really dumb to me truthfully but it kind of only elevates how smart Caesar felt and this really is a movie that was all about him as a character and about Andy Serkis's performance so from that lens I really enjoyed it I definitely empathized with him a lot and all of the animals in this movie I'm curious what the rest of the rise of the planet of the apes films are about I feel like I've seen images of apes holding like <laughs> AK-47s <laughs> like acting like full-blown military men so I wouldn't be surprised if they go to battle with like guns and now that they're you know he basically taught them all just to like stand up tall at the end of that so it's really showing that anything is possible yeah really at the end of the day most of the humans to me in this film just didn't feel that like authentic that grounded I didn't really believe that any of these actors could be scientists <laughs> Most of them felt so over the top unlikable that it was just comical. If they were likable, they still didn't seem very smart or like their dialogue was just that grounded in reality. But purely from the perspective of watching all of the scenes with the monkeys, all of the progression of a character like Caesar, watching him grow up, seeing the way that he views the world and seeing him discover the way that other people see him when they're afraid of him and how he doesn't like that feeling, but also how if they're not afraid of him and if he's nice, people will step on him and take advantage of him. So him really being this very empathetic character that I wasn't really quite expecting was really nice. And again, you know, Andy Serkis' performance, just he just did such such a good job like there was just so much going on behind his eyes in the way that he was taking things in and processing information he had like this real vengeance behind his eyes but was also so concerned when certain people were hurt or certain people died and I really think this movie is just purely about that so I would be interested to watch more just to watch his work more and to watch that character more because he's the real protagonist he's the only one I really care about and it's definitely like a unique movie world I feel like it's not often that you watch a movie with so many monkeys in it <laughs> that are like so intelligent and carry so much emotional depth like usually you know with CGI and stuff you don't necessarily get all of that character coming across it kind of just feels very like flat and surface level but these characters in the monkeys were a lot more deep than most of the humans in this world. So that was definitely interesting. And this was just a fun action movie to dive on into with you guys. I'm glad that I've finally seen it because it's just one of those movies that's been on my list for a while. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you did, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more movies from this franchise, of course, in the future. Definitely let me know your suggestions as well in the comments down below or anything else you'd like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.